Hey YouTube, this is Chris again with another one of Tim and Chris's how-to videos. So today I'm going to show you how to take an image like this, some cracked mud, and transform it into something like this, an exploding sphere or an exploding planet. This is really fun to do, it's a really cool effect, and you know, it's really not that hard. I'm going to show you step by step on how to create this effect. Let's get started. All right, before we get into it, let me show you where I got this image from. I got it from Pixabay, and I'll put this link in the description um, of this image of Cracked Mud. It's a free download. So if you'd like to uh, follow along with me, go ahead and grab this image, and let's get started here. Back to our Photoshop here, and let's get started with our Cracked Mud. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we need to size this to a perfect square. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to go up here to our, mar our marquee tool and right click and go choose our make sure our rectangular marquee tool is um, checked and we're going to go to this bottom right corner here we're going to hold the shift key down on our keyboard and we're just going to left click and drag all the way up till it doesn't it won't go anymore and we'll release and then after we release we'll click control J on our keyboard to make a copy of this layer and you can see I made a square. Next, we got to get rid of this space, so we're going to grab our crop tool, and we're just going to bring this over until it snaps into place, just like that. We're going to go check our work and make sure this is a perfect square by going to Image and Image Size, and it is 853 by 853. That's exactly what we want. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to take all the color out of this. So in order to, to do that, we're going to, on our keyboard, we're going to hold down Control, shift and tap the letter U and that's going to take all the color out. Now we need to transform this. We need to take all the darks and reverse them to make the darks light and we want to make the lights dark. And we do that with our keyboard again by holding the control key down and tapping the I key. And it takes and it just reverses the colors. Now we need to make these a little darker and again we'll go to our keyboard um, hold the control key down and tap the letter L and this will bring up our levels. Now with the levels all we're going to do is we're just going to play with these sliders here and we're just going to move this down to make it darker and we're just going to move this uh, last slider up all the way from the right just a little bit to the left and if you're following along with this exact um, dried mud you can enter in these values 172 1.00 and 236 and we'll just leave it like that and click OK. The next thing we need to do is we need to spherize. Um, we need to make a sphere here. So we're going to, with our layer one checked, we're going to go to filter and distort and spherize. We need to, the amount we need it at 100%. The mode is a normal and click OK. And you can see how it makes a sphere here. The next thing we need to do is we need to cut this sphere out. It's really simple to do. We'll go to our marquee tool, right click, and choose the elliptical tool. With the elliptical tool selected, find a corner and hold the shift key down on your keyboard. Left click, hold, and just drag all the way to the opposite corner. And once you've got it, just release. And that'll make a perfect uh, mar your perfect marching ants around your sphere. Now once we've done that we need to cut this image out by going back to the keyboard and clicking on control and J. And what that's going to do is that's going to cut our sphere out just like that. Now we need a little bit more real estate to work with here. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our crop tool and we're just going to drag these ends out just a little bit just like this, each end, or each side rather, just a little bit, and you, you don't have to make it a perfect square, just kind of eyeball it, just like that. And click on your checkbox. Now this layer down here, we're just gonna put a background on it. So we're gonna highlight that layer, and with this layer highlighted, we're going to click on the keyboard again, Alt and Backspace, and that's gonna fill that with black. Well, it's going to fill up with your foreground color, so if it changes to a different color, 
um, just make sure your foreground color is black. Okay, so now that we have that done, now we're going to start the, um, the actual effect. So to do that, we're going to go, we need to have our sphere highlighted, our sphere layer highlighted. And we're going to go to Filter and Distort and po Polar Coordinates. Once in Polar Coordinates, click on Polar to Rectangle, the second one down, and click OK. It's going to make this a weir really weird shape. Now we need to put this shape on this side. So we're going to go to Image, Image Rotation, and we're going to 90, deg 90 degrees counterclockwise. I'm sorry, 90 degrees clockwise. Let me just redo that. Go back, Command or Control Z to take it back. Image, rotate, and 90 degrees clockwise. There we go, just like that. Now we're going to add some wind to it. So we're going to go to Filter and Stylize and Wind. Make sure that your wind is checked and from the right is, is checked and click OK. Now you can see it created a small effect here, but we want to increase that effect by clicking on Control and F on the keyboard. And you can click this as many times as you like to, to increase the effect. We're just going to, we'll click it twice, just like that. That looks pretty good. Now we need to rotate this back the way it was. So we're going to go back to Image and image rotation and 90 degrees counterclockwise and I'll put that right back. Now we need to go back to our our polarizer and filter, distort, polar coordinates and this time we're going to check the top one and click OK. And isn't that pretty cool? Now all we have to do is just change the color and the way we do that is we go to our adjustment layer here at the bottom of this little circle icon Click that and click on Hue and Saturation. When Hue and Saturation is uh, up, click on this Colorize box. And now all you have to do is with the Hue, just move your slider up and down wherever you'd like. And your Saturation if you want a little bit darker. And now choose your color and you have just made an exploding sphere or an exploding planet. Well, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please like this video. Please subscribe and comment if you like. If you'd like to see other Photoshop videos, please visit our website at simplehowtos.com or here on our YouTube channel. And please like us on Facebook. Hey, have a great day.